So hi everyone, welcome. I am Lou of Lou G's Angelic Connections and this is the reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs for the month of June 2020. Okay, so please remember this is a general reading. It will not resonate with you all. If it doesn't resonate, please feel free to move forward respectfully to the next reader who may have a message for you at this time. Okay, so I'm going to call in my angels, my guides and keepers of the light. Please guide me at this time for messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon and Rising signs for the month of June 2020. What is in the highest good for Aquarius, Sun, Moon and Rising signs to receive regarding the month ahead? Okay, so beginning of the month, Aquarius. Beginning of the month, what do we need to know? Okay, so the first card out is the Three of Gabriel. So this is very much about you have started moving forward in your life. You're making decisions. You are doing things as you are guided. But now you're looking for the next step. Where are you going? What are you going to do with your life? Okay, you may have been caught in this area Um beforehand of the five of Raphael and this is like the five of cups within the normal standard tarot and it's about not really seeing the good in your life but you are finally picking yourself up and you are realizing that if you want something you need to make it happen you are you can't sit around and wait for things to happen you need to make the decision to move forward and do something about it. And that is the energy that you are in at the beginning of June. You have decided you're going to leave that behind. Those things that didn't work out, they didn't work out for a reason. You have come to that understanding and you are now going to go and get what it is that you are wanting from your life. So let's have a look what we have here. So, yes, it's very much about those decisions you're making. We have the two of Michael, OK? This is about indecision. Um, but you are now reaching the decision to start making decisions about where you want to go. And you, by doing that, you are freeing yourself up. Now, with the two and the eight of Michael, this is the two and the eight of swords. And I feel with these two cards... Um, they're very much the same sort of energy in a traditional tarot deck. And this is, with these cards, these are quite gentle cards. And this is saying that you are opening up the gate and you are moving forward. And you are moving forward towards this King of Gabriel energy now the king of gabriel is the king of wands he is that passionate king the one that trusts his instincts and follows them goes for them it also says um look keep an eye on the bigger picture so this beginning of june is not about going into the details getting into the nitty gritty of things what you are moving towards just stay focused on the big picture. Let everything fall into place as it needs to. As long as you are moving forward and you are making these decisions, that is what is counting at this time. It's time to unstick yourself, move forward. Don't get caught up in small details. Just look at the big picture and follow your heart. Follow where your passion is leading you. So for the middle of june aquarius sun moon and rising signs for the middle of june what do we have aquarius sun moon and rising signs for the middle of june well okay <laughs> I'm going to take that first bundle because we have loads here. Absolutely loads. Okay. So
Right, we actually have absolutely loads of the angel answer cards. Now, these haven't been coming out. So this, um, this energy is a bit different for you. Let's have a look. So you are in this, by the middle of the month, you are in this very quite complacent. You're, you're not really... I'm feeling a lack of motivation at this time. It may be that the way you decided that you was going to make your plans is not working out. Um, by the middle of the month, you will be feeling that it's not actually going to work out because we do have this choose a new direction as well. So it is very much about you seeing that... Um, what actually what I'm picking up now I'm being told no I'm reading this wrong okay that is where you are okay that is where your energy is in the middle of the month quite complacent not really bothered a bit bored etc um you're starting to move forward but now you're sort of like can't be bothered maybe but you are being asked to change the direction okay Choose a new direction. Get out of that energy, okay? It is time to really start moving forward. Don't... Um, don't be focused so much on things not working out, not seeing the good in life, okay? Because there is no need to worry. It may be that you just need to get some more input because it is saying as well, get more information. If you have, if you've chosen a path that you thought, yes, I want to follow that. I, that's my dream. That's what I want to be going for. And then when you've looked into it further, it's like, do you know what? Yeah, that's not going to happen. It's not going to work. And it's left you in this area where you're just like, I don't know what to do don't know what to do somewhere along the lines there is something you can do okay get more information before you give up on that dream okay you're also yes because we've got reconsider as well so if you're planning on giving up on this dream reconsider don't just Toss it to the side and forget about it. There could be a different way of going about it. Um, yeah, you just need to get some more information. OK, look for the signs. Listen to your intuition. OK, with this reading, listen to your intuition. With everything, listen to your intuition. Your intuition is your inner guidance system. It will tell you whether you are on track, whether you're not on track, where you need to be going, where you don't need to be going. It's very much you need to be in tune with yourself. Trust yourself above anyone else. This is leading you where you need to be. Because if you believe that you can accomplish what you are trying to accomplish, then you will. Half of the battle is actually getting it into your mind and making you realise that, yes, you can do this. OK, so middle of the month, we are very much looking at probably things aren't going quite at to plan as you expected them to at the beginning of the month. But don't completely wipe those ideas out. Don't completely just decide, no, well, because it's almost like you've got a feeling it's not going to work. So you're starting to give up. Don't. There are ways around it. Get more information on it. Look at different avenues I'm feeling. If you want to do a certain career and they're saying, right, well, in order to do this, you need to do five years at college and then you need to go to university for about 10 years and then you need to do this and you need to do that. There could be other ways around it. Obviously, for some um, some careers, you do have to go to uni and you do have to do this, that and the other. But for others, you don't. OK, so end of the month for Aquarius what do we need to know June 2020 
Aquarius, some moon and rising signs. What is in the highest good to know for the end of June? What do we need to know? End of June. Okay. So let's have a look at this one. What? Okay, coming to the end of a cycle, drawing a line under everything that um, has been going on. It's the final curtain call. It is falling. It is coming away. It is time to move forward. It's saying the situation has ended and you are finally free. So it could be that you have sought the information that you need. You have spoke to the people that you needed to. You have gone on the Internet. You have Googled. You have done what you need to do. And you realize that there could possibly be another way of going around it. OK, um, because we do have this Queen of Gabriel. This is the Queen of Wands. This is you're spreading your wings and flying, not being afraid to go after what it is that you want. And it is actually teamed up with this Emperor card, which is very much about taking charge. So you are realising that you can call, put an end to the negative thoughts that you were having at the end of, uh, sorry, in the middle of the month, thinking that you can't actually do it. You can, and you are going to lead the way. You're going to lead yourself into something new. <laughs> and it's leading towards an emotionally fulfilling situation. This is going to make you happy. OK, now the other card what came out, these three came out together. So this is saying about following your passion, be your own leader, guide yourself, guide, guide yourself towards what it is that you are wanting. And it is going to bring you that emotional fulfilling start. And as I was saying at the, at the middle of the month, I was saying about if you've got to go to college and if you've got to go to uni and all this sort of thing. The card that has come out is the page of Ariel. So it could very much be because this is an excellent opportunity will be offered to you. So the page is a young energy. It is something new. It is something good. It is something that is going to make you very, very happy. Um, it is going to help bring in that emotional fulfillment. So, yes, it could be that you are going um, going back to college. It could be because the um, suit of Ariel is the pentacles. It could be that you might actually be entitled to probably some sort of funding to help you to get to college, to do what you want to do. If not, then this could be like an apprenticeship. It could be um, working your way up within a company, just going about it slightly different to what you had originally planned. But do you know what? By the end of the month, it's like you will have some sort of idea about where you're going. Your dreams that you had at the beginning of the month, which you thought were not actually going to work out, they are going to work out. Um, always remember, if things work out in a different way, it's because that different way will make you happier. It will make you, it'll put you onto a slightly different path. But this different path is what you need. Um, yes, we like what we want, but we will always be gifted from the divine with what we need. And this different route that you will be taken to get your emotional fulfillment is actually what you need at this time. And it is bringing you happiness. OK, and that above everything is what we need to be looking at. OK, happiness and fulfillment. So that Aquarius is your month ahead. That is for June. If you are feeling this reading, please give me that thumbs up. If you feel inclined, click on that subscribe button. And having said that, have a fantastic month and I'll see you again soon. You take care. Bye bye.